Raja Yoga, the king among yogas. Essentially, it is Patanjali who compiled all the techniques and the associated principles into the form of sutras, yoga sutras, and brought out this wonderful text, most comprehensive text. In the four chapters, Samadhipada, Sadhanyapada, Bhutipada, and Kaivalyapada, he gives the whole spectrum of Radha Yoga. So as we know that Swami Vivekananda's great contribution is to expand the vision of yoga from mere Patanjali Yoga to Gnana Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Karma Yoga and Radha Yoga. Whether you work with the intellect in Gnana Yoga or work with the emotions in Bhakti Yoga or work with the willpower in Radha Yoga or convert every action we do into a yoga all lead to the same goal. What is that goal? Returning home, I call. What is our real home? Patan we call it as Kaivalya. Probably Buddha called Nirvana. Bhagavad Gita calls Brahma Nirvana. That's our original state from where the whole creation has come. But it is the same from all of us have come. It is beyond space, time, causation. Unchanging pure consciousness. Infinite power, infinite knowledge, infinite bliss, infinite freedom. And that is what we all are. To reach and to manifest that divinity is the goal of life, said Swami Vivekananda. Raja Yoga. Patani said, how to do that? Gain mastery over the mind. Control over the mind. Use our will to gain mastery over the mind. Yoga ha, chitta vritti virodha ha. As by now, most of you know, there are two dimensions to this mastery. One is to make the mind sharper. Sharper mind, brilliant mind, faster mind, quicker mind, faster, 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 faster. Very brilliant, very sharp, very intelligent. The second dimension is to calm down the mind, silence the mind, tranquil the mind, remain in that silence for any length of time that you want. These are like two wings. Unfortunately, we had developed only the first wing and hardly has the second wing developed. Therefore, we cannot try. That is the root cause for all the challenges that we face today. Therefore, Patali gives the technique to bring about the dimensions. How to do that? Either do it indirectly or directly. Bahanga Yoga and Antharanga Yoga. Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara. Call the indirect way the Bahiranga Yoga. Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi, the Antharanga Yoga. Direct must be over the mind. And the culmination of this Ashtanga Yoga is Samadhi. Many people think Samadhi is the end, but that is very clear. Samadhi is the real beginning of entry into our Adhyatma. Then he describes eight different types of Samadhi. And ultimately is Kaivalya. Kaivalya is according to Moksha. This is the whole spectrum that Patanjali gives. Whatever is seen in the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali is also seen in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is the most comprehensive text of yoga. Every chapter is a yoga. Eighteen chapters, even Arjuna's Vishada, the Milankari of Arjuna also is a yoga. And therefore, we selected eighteen verses from Bhagavad Gita which describes this entire Raja Yoga. And put them into these eight different phases. Introduction, Bahanga Yoga from Second to fifth verses, from sixth to ninth is the Antaranga Yoga, Harana Dhyana Samadhi. What are the hurdles that you get when you start practicing? What are the solutions? Shloka number 10 and 11. What are the qualities that you have to reckon 
when we have this shloka number 12, and they are drawn to Nagi Yoga. And what happens to such a person at the time of death? How does he leave the body? That is shloka number 15. When he leaves the body, where does he go? What is the ultimate? Going back to Moksha, goal of Praj Yoga, 16 to 18. This is how the whole thing has been described. And shloka by shloka, we have started understanding shloka today, the 14th verse. Yuntam Devam Sadatmanam Yuntam Devam Sadatmanam Yogi Vidata Kalmashaha Yogi Vidata Kalmashaha Sukhena Brahma Samsparsham Sukhena Brahma Samsparsham Adhyantam Sukham Ashnute Adhyantam Sukham Ashnute Bhagavad Yunjan Evam Sada Atmanam Yogi Vigata Kalmashaha Sukhena Brahma Samsparsham Atyantam Sukham Ashkute. That's how we have to do the Padavita. I'm putting it in the Anvaya Param. Evam Yunjan Yogi Atman. Vigata Kalmasha, the way Sukhena Brahma Samsparsham, Atyantam Sukham Ashtute. A person who is doing dhana, 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 samadhi. He goes on meditating, meditating, and staying in a single thought. When he goes on staying in that single thought for longer and longer duration, then he reaches the stage of Samadhi. Dhyana, he has seen that it is a state of mind in which you have a single thought. That can be any thought. You can choose an Ishta Devata, you can choose just a flower, you can choose any object, and go staying in that single thought. And that is the feature of Dhyana. Single thought, effortlessness, wakefulness, expansiveness, and the lightness. Five features of Dhyana we have seen. And when you stay there longer and longer on the time, what happens? You become one with that single thought. And that's called Samya Kathiyate Samadhi. Patan describes it in Sutra. Tadeva Arthamatra Nirbhasa Surupa Shunya Viva Samadhi. As if you have lost yourself, you have become one with the thought, you have become one with the you have become one with the object of meditation. That is Sitma. When you go on doing that, Yevam Yunjan. When you go on doing that again and again, and stabilize that, Sada Atmanam Yunjan. When you go on remembering that all the time, staying in that atmosphere, staying in that state of silence, the samadhi sthiti, then what happens? Vidata kalmashaha, all the dirt, the mala, the vasana, samskara, all start getting cleansed. Kama, krodha, loha, moha, mada, matsarya. Anger, greed, jealousy, hatred, infatuation, all these things start reducing more and more, more and more, more and more. Kalmasha, they are called as the dirt, the mala. And they go on reducing more and more, more and more. Then you start rising to higher and higher stages of samadhi. Eight types of samadhi, Patri says, Vichara, Vitar, Kananda, Asvita, Andamat, Sampragnata, Nadanyaha, Sampragnata. So he moves from Vichara to Sampragnata Samadhi. Vicharanagata Asampragnath Samadhi. Vitarkanagata Asampragnath Samadhi, Vitarkanagata Asampragnath Samadhi. What is happening there? Our dirt, the muck that we have accumulated over life, will all get cleansed little by little, little by little, little by little, and you expand more and more. Moving towards Pranamaya Kosha, Manomaya Kosha, Vijnana, Arandamaya Kosha, we are expanding by personality. And what is the result of that? The Sukha Goswami is Atyantam Sukha Mashtute. Unparalleled bliss starts coming up. And that is 
the dimension that you get and it opens up all the power to come forward and it can heal even the dead earth and diseases like cancer. And we all have such power, we will all start coming out when you cleanse. The sun is there because of the dark clouds, sun rays are not coming down. So if the clouds go away, all the sun is going to come. You are not going to create the sun. You are not going to create something new. It's all there within us. Each soul is potentially divine. But we have got all this kalmusha, that is the layers, pranamaya, manomaya, vijnana, which all are the layers which are preventing the tremendous amount of energy, the power, the knowledge and the bliss to come out. So what we have to do? We must go on cleansing, cleansing, cleansing. We got the kalmusha, that cleansing, the process of purification is the essence of yoga. Therefore yoga is purification process. And in all those stresses, the deep rooted stresses, blocks, obsessions, phobias, all are going to come out and allow your system to get more and more purified. So when you grow in your practice, samadhi, then you start removing all those blocks, often phobias, which are there, all are going to come out and you get more and more purified. And the result of that, the tantika sukha, unparalleled bliss that's going to come up. That is the one that says. So we had a great example that Nagaratma says. We had a person who was suffering from hypertension, very severe hypertension. He came to our Aroge Dham and that day we were finding that three days over, four days over, that the blood pressure was not coming down. But suddenly on the sixth day the thing came down to 120 by 80. And how this happened? Our Padmini was very surprised how this happened suddenly from 220 directly to 120, something wrong. Immediately she called Dr. Nagaratna and Nagaratna, please check up, check up these things. He checked up everything and everything is okay. Then when Nagaratna came, he talked to the person. How did this happen? Five days, they have not been able to reduce even two units of BP. How suddenly it came down? 100 units. Then he said, today, when I was sitting in my beautiful bhajan session, and I was doing eyes bhajan, then I don't know what happened. When I opened my eyes, the whole <coughs> hall was empty. Everybody had gone. I looked at the watch, I stayed for 20 minutes more than normally the bhajan ends. Up to the end, I was just sitting there. Then Nagaratna asked, probably must have slept. No, no, I did not sleep. Then what happened? When I went on hitting that Om, 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 and the Om started engulfing me, I became one with that Om. And I transcended. Such a wonderful experience of that womb. And so happy, so blissful. The whole body, every cell in the body got charged with that womb. And I don't know, I transcended time. This is what happens in Samadhi. You transcend time. How long you stay there, you don't know. And that brought down the blood pressure so drastically. So that is how, when you purify, the whole system comes into normalcy. Tremendous amount of healing powers. This is what happens in spontaneous evolution of cancer. Cancer person is almost declared dead. But suddenly something happens and then he gets into normalcy. Deepak Chopra wrote that wonderful thing. He collected all such cases of spontaneous evolution. And how did this happen? Then you suddenly enter into that samadhi and Samadhi brings about the purification because the Kalmashaha and large amount of energy comes out, the healing power comes, you know, the dead and things like cancer will go away. So that is what Pradhan is talking about, is what Gita says. Therefore, what we have to do, oh, stabilize. Evam, Sada Atmanam Yudhyan. on remembering that. Ananta Samapati. As Pradhan says in Asana. So we go on doing the stay in that Asana, oh, stay. In that state, dhyanasthiti takes you to the samadhi 
and the wonders happen. So today, <coughs> 14th was the one that we have seen. So this is the highest stages of the Raja Yoga to start coming up. Today we have all of our very close associates, Dr. Manohar Shinde, great dynamic psychiatrist from Los Angeles. his uh, intensive medical research, psychiatry and bringing yoga to various dimensions. Now we have set up a new thing, Dharma Foundation. So I request Manohar to please come speak a few words about uh, your vision that we have taken up as to how we can bring this total dimension of Dharma into India and also all over the world. Please come.
uh, Rockefeller Foundation, but there is no foundation specifically dedicated in a systematic, sustained way to support the uh, Indian scholarship. So with that idea, this effort has begun. And how do we ultimately connect some important scholars in different dimensions of humanities and social sciences in particular? Uh, 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 with that idea, uh, the, a, a global effort of connecting the different dots, connecting different institutions, connecting different scholars uh, in the effort. Here also, uh, any students who want to do some specialized study, uh, we are hoping to also have certain collaboration established with Yes Vyasa, whereby multi-dimensional study of Indian civilization uh, coming people from maybe philosophy, maybe Sanskrit, maybe yoga, uh, uh, maybe the uh, different interdisciplinary aspect, ultimately in the contemporary idiom, how do we share with the world the ancient wisdom and knowledge and continue to expand the horizons of our uh, knowledge that uh, we inherited from our rishis. So that is in brief uh, the, the mission of Dharma Solution Foundation. Thank you for this brief opportunity. Thank you very much. Effort, a global effort to bring the real dimension of Indian wisdom base to the Indic studies throughout the United States and all over the globe. We wish you all the best and good luck and those people who are brilliant here and who want to take up any of these Indic studies to bring in the wisdom base of the totality are most welcome and they can contact for Manoharji and uh, can pursue this dimension of bringing the Indian contribution to the global civilizational things to remove the civilizational conflicts in the world at large. So with that, we will contemplate on these thoughts. Please close your eyes and sit tight. <coughs> Relax all parts of the body from the nose to head. Beautiful smile on the face. Take a deep breath and slowly breathe out. Now let us look at the thoughts. Imagine a vast, infinite blue sky or a vast infinite ocean. Stay in that infinite expanse. A deep infinite silence. <coughs> maintain that blissful awareness throughout the day in the inner layers of the mind while doing transactions in the outer layer of the mind. Spread the fragrance of that bliss and love to everyone by sharing, serve, serve mind, serve God, that's how we are that. Start giving something every day. Even a leaf, a fruit, a cup of water, all giving and giving and giving. It will ennoble us, divinize us, takes to the highest heights. 
bringing the bliss supreme to our lives. That is the goal of life. Come to Namaskar Mudra. Mm -hmm.